this is a video to give you some practice modeling uh, and we're going to make a, a little car today okay so we've got our start screen and remember you move around the, the um, scene with your middle mouse button and we're going to get this cube and we're going to edit it slightly so what I'm going to do I, um, make sure it's selected so right select um, with your mouse uh, to select your object and then I'm going to scale it in the Z axis scale Z and make it a bit flatter like that and actually I'll scale it in the X axis as well um, so this is going to be the roof of our car okay let's uh, now go into edit mode by pressing tab and that will take you into the edit mode and now we can start messing about with things like the vertices or the faces now to go to that menu you can either come down here and go to faces here and select the faces or you can press control then tab and select um, vertices edges or faces like that and we're going to get the faces so I'm going to get the top face and I'm going to scale that down in the Y so it's S then Y scale Y bring it back and now we've got sort of the roof of our car sort of thing it's going to be like a, a remote controlled car style thing whatever <laughs> Okay, so um, let's get the bottom face. Probably needs to go up a little bit, so we'll pull that up a little bit. Remember, right click to select different things. Okay, so we want to extrude this um, uh, face outward, so we press E to extrude and we can pull it out and it's going across along the x-axis, you can see because of this blue line here. Okay, so I'll pull it down like that. Um, you can always, I'll undo that with two steps. One, two, so I've got rid of the extrude and let's move that back up. Okay, um, so you press uh, E to extrude, and you can just right click at this point and pull it down with your um, arrow keys. That's one other way of doing it. Okay, so you should end up with something like this. Let's get the front of our car now and extrude that. So I press E again uh, and pull it outwards. And for that, I'm going to scale it down in the Z axis, scale Z. And you can see that it's lifting up slightly, so we've got to pull that down. There we go. Okay and let's uh, get the boot of the car, extrude and pull it out and we've got a very basic car. Okay, you can mess around with this now by maybe grabbing things like the edges, so control tab and you can go in and start changing things around a little bit. There we go, you can have some sort of weird comical car, maybe these are lifted up a little bit, to give it some sort of shape. There we go, there's our car. Um, right, so let's uh, go back into object mode uh, by pressing tab and there's the style of our car. Now let's get four wheels. So we go add, mesh, cylinder and there's a cylinder, a very big cylinder and we'll just rotate that around the y-axis which is this uh, green one here R, Y, 90 degrees. Okay, and then we'll scale it down. Okay, it's very wide at the moment, isn't it? So we'll press scale S then X to pull it in. Okay, and we're going to make it a big, huge, fat drag racer car. Okay, I could go to top view now by pressing 7 on my number pad at the end there. Don't um, And let's press 5 to come out of perspective mode, then I can get it in exactly the right place. Um, remember, don't press the actual number keys on your keyboard because those affect the layers and things will disappear if you do that. Okay, so I want four wheels, so I'm going to shift D to duplicate this one. Shift D, duplicate, and then right click and it will stay exactly where it is. And then you can pull it across to the other side. Okay, let's go into, back into sort of perspective um, or perspective mode, and you can see they're too high, so I'll go to uh, my side view by pressing 1, and I can bring them down to the right size. Okay, let's go back to 5 to go to perspective view and then just start rotating around our screen. Yep, I'm happy with that. Let's take one of these wheels now, and I just right click on it and Shift D to duplicate, and let's bring that to the front. And we could have a sort of Tonka car like this, that looks kind of cool actually, but I was thinking to scale these down. Uh, slightly like that, so it's sort of uh, a drag race or something cool like that. Okay, and then press Shift D to duplicate that, and then pull it across the other side. Let's go to 7 to just make sure it's in the right place, and press 5 to go into orthographic view and bring that in slightly. Probably need to bring this one in slightly as well. Okay, and then 5 perspective mode, and there we are, we're back to our car. Okay, I'm going to just click on the top of the car, to pre press tab again, go into edit mode, and then control tab to go into face, and then let's just make the top a little bit smaller, so scale, and suddenly that looks amazing. Okay, and uh, typically what I'll do is I'll go to 
Um, make sure you're back in object mode, press tab again. Don't add things, add up other objects when you're in edit mode, that's quite important. I go add, mesh, and then plane. Right, let's bring this down. Let's go to side view to bring that down. And press 5, so I'm in orthographic view. There we go, that's the right height now. Back to perspective mode with 5 on your numpad. Move around, and let's scale that up. And now we've got a floor, haven't we? And you'll probably notice if I go to side view, or front view, I think it is, there we go, front view, uh, with number 3 on my numpad and 5, you can see that the top of my wheels are actually above the ground. So if I move that one down, uh, let's just um, go into perspective mode, um, rotate round, and go to front view on th number 3. That's back view, actually, no, right front view around here. I can't remember which numbers are which now. Let's go back to orthographic mode, and we need to bring that down slightly so it's in line with the other one. And you can see that coming under the ground there. There's probably a better way of doing that. If I could remember which numbers were which on the keyboard, that would help. Okay, so there's our car. Let's just look where it is in the camera by pressing 0 to get our camera view. That's not bad. So let's render that. Go up to render and press render image. And there is our little car. Okay, hope you had fun.